Well, uh, yeah, Stephen, Governor DeWine says he's open to possible adjustments, but made no promises about it. As we reported at the start of this week, some districts like Mason see an unfair imbalance. Currently, Mason schools have eight positive cases, 184 students in quarantine. Although they feel fine and exhibit no symptoms, they must quarantine for 14 days. That's because for at least 15 minutes, they were within six feet of someone who tested positive. Superintendent Jonathan Cooper is among those sending data upstate to try to persuade the governor to loosen that quarantine rule. But DeWine's response today suggests he's not there yet. I've told our team to take a look at that. They made some interesting points. Um, but we, what we want to do is, is it, we're in this for the long run. We don't know when we're going to have the vaccine, and we don't know when everybody's going to be have vaccine available. So we've got to look at this not just for before Christmas, but after Christmas, and how do we keep as many kids in school as we can. Of course, the long run can be interpreted in different ways by different people. Mason's had 262 quarantine students return to class after sitting out 14 days. At risk now for a second round of quarantine should they be within six feet of, class, of a classmate who tests positive. John London, WLWT News 5.